Hello everybody, um, welcome back to my channel and as the title suggests, I bought some Monster High dolls and a few of Ever After High dolls. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I got. But, as usual, You know what, let's make this a thing. If if I show my face in a video, I'm gonna take a shot. Also, excuse my messy backgrounds because I don't have any shelves to organize my things. Let's cut to the chase. I already unboxed all of them and stripped them naked and put them in a box. Also, if you're offended by doll nudity, quit being a fucking pussy because seriously, why would you be offended by that? As you may know, I exclusively work with uh, the Barbie line or at least Barbie Proportion dolls or action figure. There are so many um, doll artists that work with Monster High dolls, so I just want to expand my horizons, you know. Like nothing against Monster High or Ever After High, it's just I don't really like the proportions. <laughs> but I can definitely see how they are so much easier to work on, I mean their heads are bigger. So yeah, the, <coughs> the first thing I got is this Cleo Denial doll. Her hair is disgusting as usual. I never like doll's hair out of the box. They are always gelled down and it's disgusting. Okay, so first is Cleo Denial. And then I have Gilda here. I like her horns. And her skin color is really nice too. But I got Bunny Blanc. Bunny Blank? Bunny Blanc? Bunny Blank? I don't know. She is significantly <coughs> shorter than the other dolls. Maybe because she has the little sister body. And then I got <coughs> Slow Mo. I got Alice Tear. The Monster High Boy doll's body are so much skinnier than the Ever After High doll's body. What the fuck? Okay, see? Can you see the difference? Okay. Anyway, the light is too bright. Sorry about that. I still don't know how to control things. But anyways, let's get going. I got who's this? I got Cloud Wolf. I really like this particular body because it's slightly different. Like he's muscular compared to the regular Monster High boy doll body. I got Hit Burns. Let's see if we... this one's hair came off right away. Lucky for me, I guess. I actually bought two of them. Let's see if this one's hair also come off. It doesn't. I have uh, Incibili. I really like this translucent body. I got Claudine. I got Draculara. I got... who, who, who is this? Uh, Spectra. I got Spectra. I got uh, Gigi. I got this... Oh, I forgot this Australian bitch's name. Um, who is this? Laguna. I got Laguna. I got uh, Claudine's again. But the two Claudine's I have are two different versions. This Claudine has this, I don't know, this, this arm thingy. And this one doesn't. Then I got Scara. Scara? I don't know how to pronounce her name. I got Hunter Huntsman from Ever After High. And lastly, I got, um, who is this? Ashley and Ella. So yeah, that's all. These are all the dolls I got. So let's count them. To see how many dolls I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so I have 18 dolls to start with. You might ask, Akin, if you don't like Monster High, then why bother buying so many? So, I actually have a plan. And my plan is to get money. I've already set up a Patreon page, and if you can, and if you want to, please, 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 please consider supporting me on Patreon because... Because I'll be repainting all of these dolls, and all of the repainting videos will be... Patreon exclusive. So my plan is to uh, repaint two dolls in every month. One for my YouTube channel and 
one for the Patreon page. And once I finish repainting each one of these, I'll be selling them on my Etsy. Sorry if I seem lost because I don't write any script for this video. So yeah, that's the announcement. See you in the next video. Bye.